just wanted to make a quick video. Um, been looking at the Black Hawk Wigger belts lately. Um, found one on eBay quite cheap. Um, not had one before, so I didn't know what to look for. This is what I received. Um, it says, looks okay, all the Velcro bits, good quality webbing and stuff. Um, I started to look into it a bit more because I wasn't really confident in the quality of Black Hawk. So I had a look on the internet, couldn't find anything, um, no descriptions or anything of the differences between potential counterfeit copied stuff. Um, wasn't very confident of this, so um, I had a look around and bought one that I knew was genuine. Um, and then it all became apparent once I'd received the genuine one through the post. Mm -hmm. um, this is a genuine one. <clears throat> As you can see, quite a bit of difference in quality. Um, glad I never put my put my life in the hands of this thing. And this one, as you can see, is still tagged up at the moment. I left it off until I could do a comparison so that anyone looking to buy one of these uh, knows what to look for. Um, obviously look different right from the get-go. Um, the fake one, which I'm assuming is for Airsoft. Uh, painted buckles, quite considerably thinner. You can see those are not. I have to bear with my video and skills. Um, they look quite a lot different there. Um, same with this that you would attach a climbing grade carabiner on. Um, looks quite different again. Uh, this is in kind of embossed outwards. Obviously the genuine one is punched in, um, as you can see there. Just a comparison of, um, trying to get it right on the camera there for, just the thicknesses. Um, the quality is just so much better, obviously, on the Black Hawk. Um, I said I bought this one as a genuine Black Hawk belt. Um, sold as such um, but I'm kind of glad that as I said that I didn't, didn't need my life depending on it or something uh, the usual rigger features I'm not going to review um, the belt because there's plenty on there um, Chris from Prepared My 101 um, has done an excellent review of this and some other bits and bobs always funny to watch him there's always some random noises going on um, but yeah so if you're looking at a Black Hawk rigger belt make sure you get the right one um, I can do a quick Comparison of measurements. A bit of a tangle on here. Um, this is the airsoft one. We'll call it just being polite. Um, as you can see there, I don't need to read the measurements out, but as you can see on there, hopefully it'll come through clear enough. And on the genuine one, um, is wider. This way, um, thickness as well. The actual thickness of the webbing, although it looks the same, it actually feels a lot heavier, uh, a lot, lot tighter weave. Um, excuse the shout in the background. Um, the, the actual, the genuine black hawk belt feels a lot heavier. Um, this, they're supposed to be size large. Uh, I do like pies, by the way. Um, but this one is very, very small. The quality of, just shocking, really, that they're selling it as a genuine, a genuine black hawk belt. Uh, the labelling as well is another good point. This is on the Chinese one, which is on the outside. So if you're into sort of you know, showing off your badges, I suppose, it'll work on that one. The Black Hawk one, however, is on the inside. And that's a genuine Black Hawk one. And also you'll notice that it's got the size as well um, on the genuine one. And as I say, it is on the inside. Um, it's quite scary to think that, well, I'm hoping nobody has, but that people could potentially buy one of the cheaper ones um, and hook it up to uh, the retention lines and, you know, risk their life, basically, because of this cheap Chinese stuff. Um, I couldn't find anything on the internet, any comparisons or whatever, so hopefully this video will save somebody else coming unstuck and buying uh, buying fake stuff. It's okay for Airsoft if that's what you want to do. Um, you know, and if there's a regular belt, it will be fine, I'm sure. But if you want, you know, if, you, if you're going to use it as a safety device or, you know, proper tag stuff, then get the, get the proper belt. Just a lot better quality, much better quality all around. Um, it's first of uh, hopefully many videos to come. i got to do an EDC video and a bug out bag video and, and so on. <clears throat> I've been loitering around for a year or so. Um, watching the likes of uh, Cliff from Urban... Urban Prepper, Chris, Prepared Mind 101, 
Black Scout Survival, Nut and Fancy, Funky Prepper, and so on. I'll put links down below so you can click those. Um, you're probably wondering also why am I doing a geary kind of type review with Apocalypse Graphics? Well, I do, uh, I'm a graphic design artist as well, so it's just my channel I use for everything, but it will be a lot more buggy out, survival type stuff coming up um, soon. Also, uh, check out Zombie Go Boom while you're on YouTube. Uh, I do graphics for those guys. Uh, hey Chuck, uh, congrats on the baby, and hello Charles, uh, and everyone else, Rick, and so on. This is me, gone. i um, currently got my phone duct taped to a piece of wood because I don't have a proper video camera and a big lump of foam around the microphone, but hopefully it will do the job. Um, any questions about the belt? Um, if you're not sure if you've got one, um, leave a comment below. If you do have one, and you was unaware that it is a cheap Chinese airsoft uh, belt, then I would highly recommend you don't use it for any sort of safety, uh, you know, use it as a safety device because it's just not worth it. Um, I would be looking at a genuine one, um, which is what I've got here. Um, that's it really, be careful. See you soon.